Yo, what's up, guys? Today is the eighth day of the Chicago Bulls training camp. You know, they did put out some highlights today, so I'm going to get into that soon. And also some, like, inside footage of the Bulls shooting around at practice later in today's video as well. But, you know, something was kind of weird. The, none of the Bulls players talked to the media today, but definitely still stay tuned to today's video. I got a bunch of Bulls highlights for training camp and also some more topics that I forgot to talk about in yesterday's video and talking about Lori Marketing with a possible extension coming up. But yeah, let me just throw up those highlights right now that the Chicago Bulls have posted and like put out there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed those quick little highlights. Also, stay tuned till later in the video. I got like two minutes of full Chicago Bulls training camp highlights and them just shooting around and all that. But the first topic I want to talk about in today's video is about the Lori Market and extension. You know, that was a big topic on like, I believe the first or second day of the like Chicago Bulls training camp. And marketing is like pressuring his agent to get an extension done with the Chicago Bulls. I'm not going to talk about this too much because I already talked about it in one of my past videos. Definitely check that out if you missed it. But it does seem like the Bulls and Marketing want to like an agree or come to an agreement on an extension. You know, time is ticking. They have until December 21st to get it done. You know, I'm just going to, I just wanted to talk about this topic just because, like I said, it's coming up quick. I just don't see the two sides compare, like agreeing to an agreement. You know, I feel like Lori Markkinen is going to want too much. I feel like Arturis, it's kind of like a test year. I've said that many times. I feel like if Lori Markkinen plays solid this season, the Bulls will burn him back on a good ch contract. But I feel like uh, we shouldn't give him an extension unless it's for cheap or something or a good deal for us. Just because his past two seasons haven't been that great. But yeah, definitely leave any comments or questions below today's video about the Lori Markkinen extension. You know, like I said, they have until December 21st, but I just don't see it getting done, I'm going to be honest. Also, check out yesterday's video of Training Camp if you missed it. You know, I have had I have two more quotes that I want to talk about because I forgot to include it in that video. But Patrick Williams was talking about what he's learned in the first week and like change with the NBA and the Chicago Bulls. And he said what he has learned is plays, schemes, pace of the game, how to be a pro. You know, that's great to hear. I've heard nothing but positivity about Patrick Williams, the Bulls players have had, they've literally said nothing but great things about him. You know, the sky is the limit for that kid. I'm going to throw up this quick video of all the Bulls talking about him and just saying nothing but great things about him right now. He's been great so far. He learns, he listens. Um, you know, he comes to work each and every day so far. Um, I know it's been a short period of time with him, but uh, you can see it in him. You know, you can see that he wants it. He's a great kid, extremely humble, I think hardworking wants to learn, wants to get better. Uh, but I do think that he has got tremendous upside and tr tremendous ability. But I feel like he gets it, you know, Pat. He's, you know, just like, you know, a North Carolina kid, you know, he just wants to come in, wants to work, just wants to get better and is willing to learn. You know, the kid can play and he's 19 and he's young, but I think he's gonna, he's gonna be be big for us and, and um, you know, with, with what we wanna do, being able to switch being versatile and things like that. So uh, it should be good. Patrick is unbelievable talent, um, very bright young man. Uh, he's definitely come up to me, asking a million questions already, which is very good for us. Fantastic on the defensive end. And that's something I love about any player. Um, I feel like we're going to be great if we're ever in the game together. So um, I feel like we we can definitely make some noise in the front court for sure. I think he's going to be a really, really good player, uh, you know, if uh, he reaches if he reaches his full potential watch out and the next topic i want to talk about in today's video is about wendell carter jr you know kobe white was talking to the media yesterday like i said check out my last video if you missed it you know i forgot to include these quotes but kobe white said wendell carter jr has been shooting the threes really well at training camp 
He also said he'll get a chance to handle the ball, you know, make more reads and plays and shoot more this season. You know, I'm really high in Wendell. I have been ever since we drafted him. I do know a lot of Bulls fans don't like him. I don't really understand why. You know, even last season before he got hurt or whatever, he was having a great year for the Chicago Bulls. He was putting up double doubles every night, you know, playing great defense, blocking shots. And especially with him, you know, I know last season his major flaw was just Jim Borland made him just pretty much a defensive center and like a screen setter. Like any time on offense when he was wide open for a mid-range shot, he just didn't even look to shoot the ball. And he is a more capable shooter to knock down the mid-range shot. You know, Wendell has always been a solid shooter. He's just solid at everything. I believe Wendell Carter Jr. is going to surprise a lot of Bulls fans this upcoming season and have a great year for us. And Kobe White continued to talk about him and said he's going to get to show a lot more versatility. Everyone's going to see a way different Wendell and it's going to be better for us. You know, I'm excited about that. Kobe White has been saying nothing but positive things about the Bulls and training camp and himself and Zach Levine. I'm just really excited for this season coming up. You know, definitely leave any comments or questions below today's video about any of these topics I talked about. And to end this video, I have like two minutes of like inside footage of the Bulls shooting around and ha like just running training camp. It's pretty cool. I'm going to throw that up to end the video. You know, it's looking like today might be the last day of Bulls training camp since no Bulls members talk to the media. I'll probably have a video out tomorrow as well. Stay tuned for that video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little update video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.